ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today the topic is Adult Development Theories and Models Part 1. I'm going to divide the topic into four parts. First part, Traditional Perspectives on Development. The typology of Adult Development Theory has four aspects according to Clark and Cabrera in 1999. One, Biological perspective. Physical changes related to age, physiological changes related to the environment, health habits, or by accident or disease process. 2. Psychological perspectives. It focuses on internal process, how we develop as individuals. The internal development processes shaped by the environmental and affect egoism, cognitive intellectual and moral developments. Egoism, connection, intellectual and ethical developments further classify into three categories. The sequential models view life as unfolding and major stages of phases. Life events and transitions model particular events or periods of people live are seen as driving development. Relational models, built from the experiences of women, perhaps some men, grow and develop throughout their lives. 3. Social-cultural perspective. The social and cultural perspectives of our lives are the primary forces that drive growth and change in adulthood. 4. Integrative perspective. Putting all the perspectives together to understand fully how adult development works. Mott 1999 studied how theories of biological development and aging affect learning. Humans could control their bodily functions by their thoughts. The external and internal changes such as our muscle and bone structures, reproductive sleep, sexual activity and cognitive function affect our ability and desire to learn. In aging theories, during the scheduled lifespan, various changes occur, changes controlled by our biological and immune clocks. Aging theories include 1. Metabolic theory. All species have as accurate and finite met metabolic capacity that affects how long an organism can live. The higher the metabolic rate, the shorter the lifespan. 2. Stochastic theory Wear and tear Human body damage due to unstable molecules that have either lost or gained an electron. 3. Glycation theory Byproducts of human energy's toxic production cause cell damage. The cell's defense mechanism is made weakened by the glucose and oxygen that are burned to create energy. The toxic waste produces interest with cellular membranes, proteins, and even DNA weakening membranes. Second part I'm going to talk about is social and cultural aspects. The journey through adulthood shaped by myriad psychological, social, physical, and emotional influences. Theories of adult development provide a cognitive roadmap for their journey. A guide that facilitates understanding of the wondrously complex and exciting process of becoming, quote by Reeves, 1999. In social and cultural aspects of adult development theory, we focus on one, psychological development, becoming a person. Two, gender development. Three, racial and ethnic identity and development. Four, sexual identity and development. According to Rose Gordon in 1999, an understanding of how gender shapes development offers the adult educator multiple ways to enhance the learning of the students in ways that will significantly benefit them. 
In gender development theory, we need to consider one, gender identity, whether male or female. Two, what are the mechanisms for acquiring gender identity? Three, cultural influences on gender identity. Understanding the racial and ethnic identity enhances the learning experience that promotes the future work and community environments according to Chavez and Debrito, 1999. What are the racial identity and ethnic identity developments? One, racial identity development model. Cross 1971 and 1995 developed this model. He experimented with a black person who was completely unaware of race through bracing black culture exclusively toward a commitment to many cultures. 2. Ethnic Identity Development Model Focuses on what people learn about their culture from family and community. Example, Florian was an Italian. She planted one foot family in the Italian culture and the other foot climbed the social ladder out of Italians and rose to the standards of dominant culture. The development of sexual identity leads to open up new possibilities of learning for adults. Edward and Brooks suggest that, that our sexual identities create new knowledge on ourselves, on the differences among ourselves, on our humanness, and on how learning is created or suppressed in our societies. The traditional sexual orientation development theories are 1. Biological theory Sexual orientation determined during prenatal and early postnatal development 2. Stage theory Psychosocial task of identity development that is the goal of sexual identity integration results from a series of set developmental stages 3. Queer theory. The term first used by Roratius in 1991, influenced by Michael Foucault, a French philosopher. Michael Foucault positioned sexuality as a socially constructed and regulated discourse with profound implications for power, knowledge, and pressure. I will continue the third and fourth section in part two of adult development theories and models in my next video. Please note that all the mentioned authors are in the book that I wrote down below in the description section. Thank you for participating, watching and listening. Until next time.